From our perspective, in a world where we expect to know definitely where things are at what times and in what states of motion, quantum mechanics seems utterly bizarre. And nowhere is its weirdness more apparent than in the uncertainty principle, first proposed by the German physicist Werner Heisenberg in 1927. The uncertainty principle states that there's a limit to the precision with which certain pairs of physical properties such as position and momentum and energy and time can be simultaneously known. The more accurately we try to pin down one of the pair of properties, the less accurately we can measure the other. The result of multiplying the uncertainties in each case is always greater than a certain minimum quantity. This quantity is h divided by 2 pi, where h is a fundamental constant of nature known as Planck's constant. It has the incredibly small value of about 10 to the minus 34 meters squared kilogram per second, which explains why the uncertainty principle is only noticeable when we look at things on a very, very small scale. The uncertainty principle is a direct consequence of the fact that what we normally think of as a particle, such as an electron, can also behave as if it were a wave. In classical physics, the very definition of a particle implies that at any instant it has a definite momentum and occupies a definite position in space, or it has a definite energy at a definite moment in time. But in the quantum world, wave-particle duality, as it's known, is a fact of life. Energy-carrying waves can also behave like particles, and particles can also display a wave aspect. Light, for example, displays the wave phenomena of diffraction and interference, but under other circumstances, as in the photoelectric effect, appears to be a stream of tiny particles called photons. Electrons, on the other hand, which normally behave like particles, can be made to diffract and interfere, as if they consisted of waves. In a sense, the uncertainty principle quantifies wave-particle duality. It reveals the extent to which one aspect, wave-like or particle-like, fades out as the other becomes the focus of attention. In a different but related sense, the uncertainty principle tells how much the complementary descriptions of a quantum object overlap. Position and momentum are complementary properties because to pin down one is to lose track of the other. They coexist, but are mutually exclusive, like the opposite sides of a coin. Heisenberg's formula quantifies the extent to which knowledge of one limits knowledge of the other. Clearly, this is a fundamental rule because it sets strict limits to the amount of information that's available from an observation. The uncertainty arises from the smeared out properties of wave packets compared with finite points representing the centers of the particles. One of the consequences of the uncertainty principle is that there's no such thing in quantum mechanics as perfect stillness. A quantum particle can never be exactly at rest. Even at the lowest theoretically possible temperature, absolute zero, a particle or quantum system retains a certain minimum but non-zero amount of energy, which is known as zero-point energy. In fact, as I describe in another recent video, even empty space has this zero-point energy, because virtual particles can pop into and out of existence, providing they stay within the limits prescribed by the uncertainty principle. 